We actually even laughed on the set where <laughs> there's a scene that you have to teach me how to yes. play and I don't have anything. So I just press boom, da, da, and then you don't even know what is story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and sound is so shit, but we have to act like it's like it's good. It's like beautiful, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Lovecast, the boys love podcast, where we talk about everything related to boys love. I'm your host, Kayla, and with me is my co-host, Alexa. Hello. So the setup of today's interview is a bit different than usual. Pixie, unfortunately, will not be joining us. It's super early in the morning in Norway right now. But today, Alexa and I will be sitting down with our boy, Pavel, who you all know and love. And that will be along with his co-star, Benz, who we're excited to finally meet. These two are the lead couple in the BL series, Coffee Melody, and we have questions. So let's head over to see them. Um, but yeah, welcome back for season two, Pavel. I feel like you're a regular on the podcast now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> It's exciting. Um, yes, it is. Um, and so since this is Ben's first time on the podcast, yes. I thought we would ask him um, a question first. And yep. that was, with the show so, titled Coffee Melody, we have to know what your go-to coffee order is. Go-to coffee order for you is, uh, I feel like it's like the milk ones. But you don't yeah, need like, mo- yeah. I, I can drink mocha, but actually I don't drink coffee. You can't drink mm. like like hot on coffee. Has to Gotta be have the sweet on. ones. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I also go for the really sweet ones. I, I love like a good mocha. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> What's what your about coffee you? order? How Me? <laughs> yeah. Well, I like uh, every day I have like Americano because I just drink like straight up coffee to get awake. Mm-hmm. I don't really mm-hmm. drink like for like the milk because sometimes like I drink a lot. So like if I do like two, two, um, two, two cups, it will be like too much milk and sugar. So yeah, yeah. I try to have like straight like coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can't do the straight coffee. It's too, it's too much for me, but I do drink it every morning. I don't know if it has any effect, but I have to drink it every morning just out of habit. Yeah, I noticed the coffee doesn't have an effect on me, so I've actually been drinking it at night (laughs) (laughs) or, like, closer to the evening. Um, And, I mean, I'm still able to sleep, so it doesn't have that much of an effect. I can can sleep, like, even if if I have coffee, like, later in the noon or, like, late. I still have, like, shooting late, like, at, like, 6 p.m. and 7, 7 p.m., I still have it and it's fine because I think like all the energy is on the um, actual filming anyway. So yeah, by the time you get home, you're still exhausted and can sleep. Okay. So bridging into some of our main questions, how did you guys um, both hear about the show and what was the audition process like for you guys? Oh, it was like, we, we, we actually met at um, another casting. Uh, Casting. Yes. And then, um, we got called to this one from from um, the Chester. previous caster that went to mm. that casting. So we cast online for this. We made like a video, like like just like this, like, like Zoom. Zoom together. Yeah, like, like online us two mm-hmm. like preparing, and then we send the video, and then they said, okay, come in and we do like some live like acting. And then they introduce us to this that. What's the deal behind this? What's the storyline? What's the mood and everything? So yeah, and then we did the casting, and then a few days later we got back, and then we got the role, and they asked if like you're interested, and then yes, we said yeah. yes, and then yeah, now we're here. We have like 20, 20 cues, twenty like cues of shooting. This is our last one today. Yeah, they told us that oh. that this is like your last one. So how do you feel with the experience mm-hmm. wrapping up pretty much today? <laughs> Well, it's like, it's, it's like kind of like a flashback, you know, because I, yeah. I've been so far away 
from doing with all like the COVID, like like lockdown and all that stuff. So this is mm-hmm. like you know getting back to everything and and it's quite a new genre of like acting for me as well, like the the type of mood and everything. So, but I think we did be very good. Like the director, the producer, actually like you know push us like beyond boundaries of what we can do and then like to get the character that they want like yeah. this is like different like completely different like character for myself so yeah i was gonna say like, the vibe was so quite, different you know, yeah yeah so like after 20 cues you kind of feel like oh like i we actually did it you know mm-hmm. like actually like get into the role like sometimes we still have like little bits of character getting out because like, you know sometimes it's, it's very hard it's like very contrast so it's something like I have a very like uh, a B face and, <laughs> and uh, very scary looking eyes. So sometimes you need to push them down. Yeah, you know, to get be into more, your softer like, charming side and warm. <laughs> yeah. So it's like those minor things. We actually Go got ahead. it um, like from the from the beginning, but there is so many details that we have to mm-hmm. like consider always go back yeah. to yeah yeah huh. yeah I was a little shocked when I saw the posters at first because you're playing such a different character than before and especially because yeah, yeah. it was a barista character I was like mm-hmm. hmm, how is how is he gonna pull this one off but I'm really yeah. excited to see yeah on the 24th they're gonna release like you know a pilot trailer which is like yeah. a trailer like yeah. uh, pre, like pre pre official trailer. Yeah. So it's like I'm a, super excited uh, like to get a, a first look. Yeah. You guys gonna they're gonna show like, like before we actually did the filming and then the the actual you know some of the footage from the actual series as well. So yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've been enjoying all of the set content, so I can't wait to see how it all comes together. It's gonna be very different. But yeah. I've seen some of like the slow motion, the introducing of characters, the yeah. talks, the mood, and I think it's, I think it's like it's and it's not like it looks out of place, so it's fine yeah. with the character which Yeah. So to get into some main questions, what was your first impression of each other when you met? For me. I think he is so nice. Uh, <laughs> how do you like? How do you like? Me? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, he's saying like I'm like, like, very easy person to connect with. Like um, because like I'm just chill. So like that's his like impression. Yeah. Because like when we are coming to casting, it's more of like you know, normally some people have like you know it's very hard to pair and then you know talk to each other break Mm -hmm. break like a wall but then we we, i'm pretty chill chill, so like we just talk and then it's like the faster like we get into like to know each other then it's easier to do the the filming because we don't have much you know much time to prepare for um the workshop and everything with all the time scale that they have so yeah so we had to do it ourselves so it, it was quite challenging yeah. And what was your first impression of Ben's Pavel? Well, Ben is like um very like soft person and it's like he, like <laughs> same as same as like me as like he's easy to talk with and adjust. Not like like what do you say, like a cup full of water that cannot be, you know, like add on to, you know, with opinions and all that stuff. So like we mm. exchange a lot of like, you know, okay. acting ways and like um, caring and chemistry stuff like you know so like it, it was quite easy to adapt to yeah that was actually our next question was going to be if you guys thought it was easy to build chemistry as partners since that can be kind of a difficult adjustment but it seems like you guys fell into it pretty easily yeah we don't really focus on like building the chemistry but mm-hmm. we just kind of focus on like on the like like connecting with each other more because yeah. like 
we don't like if you know each other and you know get along i think the chemistry will come anyway it's like yeah, a natural, natural natural thing yeah, yeah. Thing. so like we just focus on like working together and being the set mm-hmm. it must be that such a sense. relief whenever you're coming on to play a role and you're like oh i don't know if we're going to be able to like connect on screen but it seems like you guys like pretty much got it from the start or at least it, it seems like that <laughs> it takes like um, a, um a few like i think like first two cues it wasn't like the best we could say but then after that you know there is things that can be reshot resh- reshot and reshoot mm-hmm. like and we actually did like they put the easy scene first for our first few yeah. like shooting so yeah we can go back to reshoot it with more chemistry and more like right. you know you know partnership mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, like during shooting what has your experience been like on set well here is like a family like type because they are you know like a house office ish but it's very big like five story but like they build mm. an office here and everyone's like very you know welcoming and the the producer the owner is very like he's um, ambitious about getting this you know project done because he's been doing like thai like thai drama like thai thai mm-hmm. drama like very not like like blc types like like a lacorn like, type yeah it's very different filming and camera work so right it's like it's, i think it's like second or third project he's doing but director actually done a lot of um dramas like bls and he worked with like top like you know um like directors that works in different corporation i don't want to mention because a uh, different company right. you know, um work with the big you know thai industry and then he's actually doing this project you know very hard to push like himself and us you know to to oh, you know awesome. bring out bang for the bucks <laughs> yeah it looks like a really i mean obviously we only see like pictures and videos and stuff but it seems like you guys have like a really fun group of cast and crew and everyone involved in the production seems like um you guys have gotten really close and worked together really well so it's been awesome to kind of see the behind of behind the scenes aspects of yeah. things it's like a very co- cozy vibe like type yeah yeah i don't yeah, that's like, nice. everyone has their own like movie or cv or you know taste and favor like what type they want so i cannot really say that oh you're going to like it so much you know but right. um, from what I see, you know i i think i i personally watch myself like i mean like yeah. this see myself as well because i feel like it's like you know the production the everything is is fine yeah that's awesome to hear so can you tell us a little bit about your two characters in the series i feel like yeah. we don't have a lot of information on them yet. yeah well like um his one is more of like uh kind of like a songwriter that he, he mm-hmm. it's like basically like it's separate parts into like two different types so like coffee and then melody which is like music right. stuff so like basically yeah. uh, and then the story merging at the coffee shop something happened mm. blah, blah blah you know and then um i'm the on the coffee side and then he's on the office and more of like um music producing side and then we get to meet each other things happen and then and um like uh more of like yeah it's like a very cozy type story like kind of like very cold like environment mm-hmm. you're like in a north where there's fogs where there's you know it's not really thailand setting types yeah more of like you know um imaginary and very novel um image looking so yeah i think it's that's what we can say for now but the story i think you have to find out but yeah basically just music and coffee meet each other and there's a lot of story a lot of twists mm-hmm. turns 
I live for the cozy vibes, so yeah, and it's I'm not just, really excited. Yeah, and it's not just um, plain, like, straight bro romantic. There's a lot of things <laughs> right. add on every episode, so stay tuned. Yay, that's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, I so, find series that are laid back more like that very comforting. <laughs> so I think it might end up being one of those comfort series for me that yeah. I can just, like, put on every week and be like oh this is this is so nice <laughs> Don't yeah, yeah. especially much. um for me and kayla we're like in the middle of winter so having a series yeah. that is like nice and cozy with like warm coffee vibes to warm us up each week will be it's like perfect timing yeah it's a it's a very like the acting time would be very realistic but mm -hmm. the image is very noble. Yeah. Nice. I'm looking forward to it. Something that is very hard to have in your life. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like a fantasy yeah. vibe kind mm. of over it. But the but the acting of the person, like, you know, it's it's human. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um <laughs> since you're playing a barista in the series, did you know anything about coffee making before or did you have to learn along the way? Yeah, um he had to learn like music piano stuff and I had to learn mm -hmm. the coffee stuff, but like not like full on, like straight up full course, knowing I came out of the university of coffee like that. It's just basically <laughs> like, you know, doing the basic, knowing the beans, knowing the types, knowing the rows, right. knowing the the wash process, and then knowing how to do the milk, the skim, the you know the foam and everything, and and the the hot and cold stuff, yeah, a lot. But then did we have like it's like you say basic, but that sounds like a lot to learn. <laughs> no, but like Seriously? it's not like advanced where like this bean has like you know a uh, fruity flavor. I have to know yeah, that, yeah. like that. <laughs> but we have like you know basically like cold, hot, and, and then like special drink that we dedicated to the series as well. Oh, that's cool. Mm. And so, Benz, you also had to do like music lessons as well for your yeah, character. I have no sense of music instruments, so I have to learn a lot of words yeah. really hard on it. Because in the series, I have to play piano. Oh, no. That's why I need to practice a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we actually even <laughs> laugh. We actually even laugh on the set where <laughs> there's a scene that you have to teach me how to yes. play. And I don't have anything. So I just press boom, da, da, and then You don't even know what is going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and sound is so shit, but we have to act like it's like, it's good. It's like beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Sound is so bad. But can't, you can't really see like the pressing. Like, yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff is so funny, I feel like. But that's cool. I feel like um, it's really cool because then you can take away the stuff that you've learned. I mean, I don't know if you'll go around making coffee or playing piano in your real life, but now you have like these skills that are just really cool to have the opportunity to learn yeah, in general, I feel like. So we have some more general questions that you know yeah. we kind of wanted to take to get to know a bit more about you guys so what are some of your favorite songs at the moment um kind of like a topic switch <laughs> well i don't really have my favorite but then i just listen to the like the famous one on tiktok you know mm. uh yeah and then i do that's what i do yeah. too. i just listen to those ones and I don't really know the name as well because I just know it's this song, this song. Know it through TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And what about this you? song is associated with this TikTok challenge type yeah. thing. <laughs> For me, I listen to like Thai song, K pop, mm. just like that. But... Nice, nice. Yeah, we, we're definitely K pop fans here at the podcast as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite artist overall? Either of you. How uh, Blackpink, Vespa. Mm. Oh, I love Vespa. <laughs> so, 
switching kind of topics again. <laughs> to, um, I know that I think we asked you this before, Pavel, about video games. And I couldn't remember if you said that you were like too busy <laughs> at the time to play them. But yeah. um, now, now it's even more is, busy. I didn't yeah, have, I can have imagine. Like a, <laughs> on my computer. Do you have like a favorite current game or it's just like no coffee melody all day? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even have time because we get up at 5 p.m. and then we yeah. work to 10 p.m. and then it's like that every day, no, no break. So we don't, yeah. we barely have time to read the script. So yeah, we get home at like 11 p.m. and then we have to wake up, wake up at 5 a.m. again. And you have, yeah. and one cue is like. My name, my name, my name, my name. There's no like, right. no like, oh, yeah, straight up like. You're the main have, character, have, so. I like 20, 20 pages in a day for one day, 20 pages every day. Yeah, I that's, can't, I can't imagine. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so no time for anything else, really. <laughs> Yeah, not now. But I already told my fans, like on my Discord, like Patreon server, that uh, I will be back to stay, hang on, entertain yourself for now. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're willing to wait, knowing that they've got an awesome project to look forward to. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's worth it in the long run. Okay, so we're kind of getting into some of our fun questions now. We're jumping around a lot, but. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three items would you bring with you? What would be your three essentials? What they got? Realistically speaking, I don't know. <laughs> but basically, like survival tool first. A fire starter. That's basically the first one. Mm. Easy. This and. I can't spare fish, so I will have a fishing rod. Fishing <laughs> rod. <laughs> and one knife. That's it. Done. That's it. You're in survival mode only. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Ben? Maybe like. I'll go somewhere. Go take me there. Good eye. Good eye. Can't take your phone. No. Yeah, phone would be pretty useless, I feel like. Unless you want to make a TikTok there. Yeah. <laughs> make a TikTok <laughs> on the deserted island and hopefully you can <laughs> upload it when you get back. I don't know what I'm going to bring. But <laughs> uh, I know one thing. I, I have to bring my bear. Oh, um, yes, Chris. I can't sleep we need without him. Yes, we need a pool. And That's yeah, understandable. I don't know, Chris. I don't think I can fishing, like, do fishing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys are stranded together, Pavel can take care of all of that stuff. Yes. I watch a lot of zombie movies, so we'll be all right. <laughs> the survival instincts are at 100. <laughs> Anything else? Two more? Maybe fireworks. Fireworks? <laughs> like, help me. Oh, a flare. <laughs> oh, yeah. A flare gun type thing. That's good. That's smart. Yeah. I was looking to settle in, but he was looking to get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get out. <laughs> Two different ideas going on. Yeah. Um, actually, I have to ask you because you mentioned that you like zombie movies, and I love zombie movies. What is your favorite one? <laughs> well, I like. World War Z. Mm -hmm. I like how the zombie stack ups. Like on the oh, wall. that yeah, that oh, iconic yeah. Oh, shot. Scary. And um, I like the the Walking Dead, but like I don't mm -hmm. really watch much because it's like quite quite too long. Yeah, yeah. And I like the the Korean ones, like the train train, train to Busan. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, that's... Korean zombie is different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like Kingdom. Kingdom is really oh, yeah. scary. That was good. Um, yeah, that they're, was good. they're doing um yeah. an American remake of Train to Busan, and I think 
well, I don't think it's going to be that good, but I am curious to see how they adapt it. But, you know, that's coming out, I think, sometime next year. The It's called, like, Last Train to New York or something like that, and it's the oh. American Train to Busan. So <laughs> that should be interesting. Interesting. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Um, what kind of movies do you like, Ben? I feel like we don't know much about you yet. Yeah. Actually, I like horror thriller. Okay. Yes. You're horror. a horror thriller person. <laughs> you have a favorite? Mostly I watch Thai movie, Thai ghost movie. Yes. Mm. Have you seen, um, it? they just added it to American Netflix, but it's this Thai movie called The Whole Truth. Oh, yes, yes, on Netflix. <laughs> I watched that the other night. And I was like, "Oh, this is the twists and turns are so good. <laughs> it's so good." Yeah, I, I don't do it. horror movies. <laughs> I'm, ro- I'm romance all day. <laughs> you have to watch the um the the I what in Thailand we call Lang Song, oh. but, but like uh, the English Super. name is or oh, the host, the host. Mm. It's basically oh. like you're the host for the ghost to come in, uh-huh. like with all that like necromancing, like like oh. voodoo stuff. Yeah, it's very like, and it's like they actually go to the real place. They actually do it in the cave where there's like oh, like, like spells. haunted. Yeah, like oh. spells and chants, and you know, all that stuff. Oh no, that kind like, of stuff freaks me out. <laughs> Enchantress and like you know black magic stuff. Ooh, that's oh. interesting. I feel like I I've seen do. that come across my recommended before, but I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. No horror movies for me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, getting back into Coffee Melody, um, how I know you kind of mentioned this before, but how do you feel now that Filmy is kind of wrapped up? Like, what part of are you looking forward to like the pilot episode airing and like, what do you think the response is going to be? Well, we don't really like, um, know what it's going to be like for the reaction of people, because like I said, everyone has different types and mm-hmm. preferable like mm-hmm. movies and series. So, but we actually like seen it. So we would watch it ourselves and I think the, the the production is up to par, very good. And yeah, from like this, like set, being being able to like, you know, push out this much quality. And I think with this like amount of, you know, budget and everything is just very, you know, top, like yeah. juice, top juice squeezing <laughs> process that we can do. Yeah, top quality content. Is there anything that you're looking forward to having time for again now that filming is wrapping up, whether that be playing video games or just sleeping go, for a full no, no. night? <laughs> I would I would just go back straight to work with my yeah. my actual my actual like usual work, like the streaming, mm-hmm. the live right. stream, the half set is preparing. I have a lot of things still lined up, so this is not the end yet. But yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna keep keep working. <laughs> Yeah, basically, like, the entertainment, live stream stuff as well. So, yeah, back to that. Yeah, the job never stops. Benz, is there anything you're looking forward to being able like, to do, have time for when shooting rounds? He's going to eat. Yeah. Eat. <laughs> no yeah, dieting. Like <laughs> yeah. Eating is always the best part of my day, so I can but, relate to that. But, like, miss all the gas and stuff here. Here's, I really yeah. enjoy coming work. to work here. Even though yeah. it's far away. Yes. <laughs> it's so far. So much fun. Yeah, but but yeah, guess what? Probably. It's like, it's a, actually two-minute ride. No, no. Like, around five-minute rides from my home. I think it's like seven kilometers from my house, so it's not bad. But this is like the first set, first set ever that is close. Like my previous series was like 50 kilometers, 30 kilometers. Dang. So you're 
that's nice to be like close to home. I mean, I feel like traveling when you're going to and from work is like, it feels like half of the time you take up going to and from work. So being close to home is definitely a convenience. Mm -hmm. So do you think that you guys will stay close after Coffee Melody or be hanging out, maybe promoting more? We will, we will be like, coming here to, you know, promote the work and do more like like public relation okay. stuff because we need to get the words out. And then um, we have actually like plans to, you know, like take a long break and maybe like go like do like, like my usual like filming, you know, on like vacation or something like plan because like I feel like the more we the more we are like connect, like post post filming, um, the easier it will be to come back to you know when the like product uh the the thing is on air. But we don't yeah. know when it's gonna be on air exactly because right now they're trying to fight for air time. Everyone is trying to fight because in Thailand is crazy right now with all the yeah, series. all the series are coming yeah. back to life again. I don't know who is who right now. It's like. <laughs> a lot of places. So, yeah. Yeah. So like, I, mean, I nice wish to be able like, to keep up the come, connection. Yeah, I wish it's just gonna come fast. I really hope, but it's very hard right now. It's very hard to confirm. I think it might be delay. I might. I don't. How do I know? It. It might not be. But yeah, it's yeah, it's, but you it, just can't it's fighting say for sure. Yeah, and there's less less hosting platform now as well. So yeah, yeah, it's a battle. It seems to get get your shows on air these days. I feel like everything was kind of on hold, and now yeah, everything is back. trying to come back at once, and it's chaos. But yeah, luckily, what is so, one, what is it like currently, is- like in Thailand with COVID? Like, what's the situation like right now? COVID is still not like not as big numbers like before, but it's around like. 7k from like 30k a day so we are like more than half down but and people are starting to get um the pfizer's the Moderna um vaccines mm. and all that stuff starting to come in a lot so people are starting to get like you know the mra um vaccine and all that stuff so it is more you know more accessible now so Hopefully next year everything will be more livable and people will just have yeah. to adapt and be careful. It's not going to be like gone gone, but it's going to be more mm-hmm. easy to live. Right now it's starting to get easy, but just have to be conscious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have one last coffee melody related question for you because we know you guys are on a tight schedule. So I don't know if you can share this type of information with us but are there any particular scenes that you're looking forward to the viewers seeing or particular scenes that you felt were really challenging or emotional for you and your characters even if you just give us a tiny hit you don't have to go into detail um um (laughs) i think there is a scene but i think it's more of like the the open ourselves, our character into like let go and like I can't really say because it's gonna it's gonna spoil the whole thing. But yeah, there there is a lot of scenes. We always with each other, like the whole series. So um there is a lot of scene the the coffee making scene the slow motion that's like visual like selling mm. like it has to be like good like good face good like poster you know those are like visual type scene i'm looking forward to that because i like visual and the drama scene the like the realistic acting stuff you know mm-hmm. it's very looking forward to see but we don't want to watch too much ourselves because we want to like actually watch when it come out with you guys right. and watch when it's be surprised with everyone who's watching yeah, yeah. But there is a lot of like um themes in this like you know series so 
Do yeah. you guys think you'll watch the episodes? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Do you guys think you'll watch the episodes together or you're not sure yet? I guess you can't really know if you don't know when the show's going to air, but... Yeah, we're not really sure, but we try to, like, yeah, try our best to, you know, um, have, like, some live stream with the fans to watch nice. the episodes. Do some reactions type thing. That would be yeah. awesome to see. Nice. Yeah. So we kind of had, if we can ask one little request of you guys before we um, wrap up. So um, Christmas time is right around the corner. So we were wondering if you guys could give a little happy holidays message to our listeners who will be tuning in for the interview. Okay. Happy holidays. Okay, go. Merry Christmas, you all, and I hope you. Uh, our pilot will be air on twenty four. I hope you guys enjoy it yeah. and like it. And our Happy trailer day. trailer will come out later after that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, stay tuned. And yeah, I just want to say um, thank you to everybody who's supporting me and Ben's and us. You know, and stay tuned for the coffee melody, and it's gonna be you know different. Um, image for you guys to see different types, different vibes. So stay tuned. I think you guys will be very excited, and there's going to be a lot of talks in your group chats about all the um <laughs> the things we have to do and all the different changing on the character. So yeah, it's going to be surprising actually. And yeah, thank you for the love cast uh, for having us. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good. Thanksgiving, having a good new year and all that stuff. And next year will be a great, you know, year. There will be more jobs coming, more opportunities and, you know, series for you guys to watch as well. So, yeah, stay tuned. Awesome. That was so sweet. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing that. <laughs> all right, so we'll let you guys go. We know you're on a tight schedule and we're, we kind of ran over our time. But thank you so much. This was really fun to be able to Thank talk you. to you again, Pavel, and talk to you for the first time, Benz. I, we're re- I know we're really looking forward to the series and everything you guys have to show us. So thank you so yeah. much for the thank opportunity. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank for you having so us. Much. All right. See you next time when the, you know, the series come out. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And that's it for this week's episode. A huge thanks to Pavel and Benz for taking time out of their busy schedules to join us on the podcast. We had so much fun talking talking and getting to know about them and their characters. You can catch both boys in their new series, Coffee Melody, as well as on their socials. We'll put everything in the description as usual. If you enjoyed this episode, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, follow us on Spotify, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this episode with your BL-loving friends. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where we love to interact with everyone and even collect questions for interviews like this one. Links can be found in the episode description. And if you'd like to support the podcast and help us to continue creating and releasing episodes, you can join our Patreon where you'll receive exclusive access to patron only discord to the patron only discord server. Guest announcements early extra clips that didn't make it into the final episodes and more. You can also send us a tip on coffee. If you're unable to commit to a monthly support or even check out our merch shop at lovecastpodcast.com. Any help is greatly appreciated. But thanks again to Pavel and Benz for joining us today. And we can't wait to watch them both in Coffee Melody. So until next time, bye. 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 New collection is coming out. Get ready to spend your money, Kayla. I'm excited. I've really been looking forward to this one. I think it was like, yeah, our, that's like before I rebranded. Yeah, way back. Kayla's an OG fan.